up everybody, this is Jeremy. Um, I have a new piece of software that was sent to me to review for everybody. Uh, it's called Tidy Up. I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, menu up here. Okay, you got About Tidy Up, which just tells you a little bit about the uh, company. Uh, preferences, which a lot of these preferences you'll see uh, the general. Um, set your, if you want to like allow it to uh, use your applications to like, uh, it'll search through mail or iPhoto or Aperture iTunes. Uh, you can set it up to make uh, log files. Uh, you can have it calculate the uh, folder sizes. There's some other options in here. Uh, you've got, you can send crash reports if the uh, application does crash on you. You can set it to check for a new version at startup which I would recommend and here's where you can put your uh, registration information or register for it. Then uh, you've got oops, uh, you don't, if you forget the uh, web page, it's right here, you don't have to try to remember it, it's automatically on the uh, menu bar for you. Uh, you can purchase it from here, you've got support email, just email straight to them whole lot easier than that. having to go to the website to uh, or try to remember the website. Uh, you can have a check for updates, you can register if you've purchased uh, and gotten your registration number. Uh, here's where you can bring up a new search window. Uh, you've got you can add a disk or folder. Uh, you can save your lists and scan them. Uh, there's two different modes. You've got basic and advanced which these are right down here. Uh, you've got the strategy wizard where you can actually uh, kind of customize how you want it to search. Uh, and that's right here as well. Uh, here's your criteria. You can use the last used search criteria that you used or you can save it uh, and use it later on. Uh, you can manage your smart baskets. Uh, you can burn, move, uh, which you have to be highlighted on the file here. But, uh, there's some more uh, you can do. You can uh, customize the uh, units scale. Uh, then you've got your criteria panes, which are also right over here. Um, so I'll go ahead and get into this real quick and show you. Uh, you can have it search any of your drives. I've got my main hard drive here. Uh, online backup uh, drive here, my time machine, uh, which I wouldn't recommend uh, doing anything with the time machine. Uh, you can set it to search through your folders or your uh, applications. Uh, you can have it search through your iTunes, your iPhoto, your Aperture, and your Mail. Uh, you can search documents, pictures, music, applications. You can actually change this view here. You've got the simple one and then you've got more of a in-depth look at your drives and stuff like that. Uh, you can go in when you're searching through, I've got it set to images right here, which I've already got a search up. I went ahead and had it searched before I started the video just because I had to search through so many files. Uh, but you can have it searched by date taken, locations taken, the camera make and model, uh, you can go in and this is just on the basic mode or you can go in here and switch it and uh, say you want to look for pictures on your main hard drive uh, you want to make sure that the name is the same or you know however you want to do it uh, or you can make sure that the items name contains you know like picture some cameras like my old one will format it to just say picture and then numbers so you can set it to search specific uh, stuff like that. Uh, you can go in and change the date modified and have it searched by that in different ways. Uh, then you've got your common attributes which are always on all of these and then you can go in and customize it more and uh, you can add like certain types of files like Photoshop files uh, hide that you can have it search uh, miscellaneous stuff like the, if it has a custom icon you can have it search um, 
you can have it search. It's very, very customizable. Uh, music tags, uh, photo tags, uh, special searches, and you can add in any of the stuff that you want. You can have it search for compressed files, uh, temporary folders. Uh, you can change. You can check it by permissions. Uh, read and write, read only, write only. Uh, it's just there's a lot of different ways you can set this up to search. Basically any way you could think to search for stuff on your computer this application can do. Uh, so I'll go ahead and bring up the search that I already had up here. Uh, this is where it searched through my hard drive and found duplicates of different files. Um, you can... I'll go ahead and, uh, here's the image that I'm choosing to look at for this just demonstration. Uh, it can go in and it can tell you the type of file, the size of the file, when it was created, modified, uh, the pixel size, the orientation, uh, just different stuff like that. It's got a preview of the picture. Or you can go over here to uh, Quick Look and it'll bring it up a little bit larger. Uh, and I've got it, same file right here, the two duplicates, and it'll actually show you the path to the uh, different files so you can choose which one you want to keep. Uh, you can highlight it uh, and you can move and copy the uh, files, you can trash them, uh, you can export a list of the files, you can do this in HTML or text format. Uh, you can burn the uh, files, you can delete, you can modify the, uh, the search, which I actually I'll go ahead and get into that. Uh, the strategy, you can actually set it up specifically how you want it to uh, search. And it goes through like a little wizard. Uh, and you can pick, you know, what kind of file you want. Uh, you continue. You can choose. Uh, well, I'm going to use only MP3s. Uh, you can have it search. Um, yes. Um, how can they match? They, you can either select it to be that they can be similar or they have to be exactly the same. Um, then it will create a smart basket over here uh, when you search. You can select uh, how you want to copy and label. Uh, it's just a really uh, in-depth application that allows you to uh, search through your whole hard drive and basically find uh, all of your duplicate files. Uh, just really nice for helping you get rid of a lot of the clutter because I know that a lot of the images I have on my computer that other people have uploaded and they didn't delete them off the camera, they just kept them and then uploaded them again later. So I've got the same files in some of the same folders. And this just makes it a lot easier to go through and find all the duplicates, get those off the hard drive, and save you a lot of space. Uh, so it's very, very nice, customizable, and uh, there's a lot of it that I've not even really checked into yet. As far as checking up on the application, going through all the different settings and stuff, there's just so much stuff on here. Uh, it's not very expensive, which I'll put, again, the link over in the description. Uh, I think they're running a special on it right now, maybe. I think it was normally like $40, and I think you can get it now for $30 for a limited time. But uh, if you have a lot of clutter and you really want to clean up files that you know that you've got duplicates, like my old iTunes list, I had a lot of duplicate files. Cleared all that out, saved me a lot of space. So uh, actually close to a gig, uh, about a gigabyte pretty much of space that the, it saved me just finding duplicates of iTunes songs. So, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this if you've got a cluttered hard drive or you just want to keep your hard drive from getting cluttered, I would definitely recommend this application. So, uh, definitely check them out, uh, you know, read up on it and see if it's something you'd be interested in. But I, like I said, I would recommend it to anybody. So, uh, as always, subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, look for more videos coming soon. Thank you.